Hello everyone, it's Scarys Racer here, and once again, I come back to you with another tech dilemma. Now, the last time I had a tech dilemma was when I was trying to choose a compact system camera, and thankfully, that paid off. I'm glad I've got that camera now, but I've now come to you with one that has gaming in mind. You see, a lot of people nowadays don't really want a really powerful 5.1 or even 7.1 surround sound system, they would rather go for a gaming headset instead. And this is what I'm after, but for different reasons. Now, obviously, I know what you're thinking, why would I want a gaming headset when I've got a 7.1, not a 7.1 exactly, but a 5.1 surround sound system that's decent enough? I mean, you can see back there, that's one of that big black brown thing there, that's one of my speakers for it. The thing is though, I want to do a lot more live streaming and online gaming just for you. And what I've managed to compile is a list of requirements I want for a gaming headset that hopefully will will narrow things down a bit because I'm still trying to decide which one is best for me. So let's get started first of all with the comfort. Now this is actually a different sort of thing because when it comes to comfort I want to be able to wear a headset for long periods of time. For instance, when I was choosing my headphones I obviously went for these. These are Logitech UE 6000s and don't get me wrong, these headphones are fantastic for two very good reasons. One, they're a lot better than Beat Audios, alright? Yeah they are. More on that later, but also for the fact that they are very comfortable. Now, if you can have a look here, from the shape of the ear cups, they're not exactly round, they're almost pear shape or teardrop shape upside down, and that's because they've been designed to fit around the ears. So, for instance, when I put them on, as you can see, they completely cover the ears up while the actual cushions are pressing against my head. Therefore, they don't press against my ears like most round headsets do. So really, this is what I'm after as well when it comes to a gaming headset. And also, I can be able to wear that headset for long periods of time. Now, those headphones I can wear for long periods of time at work. Especially at work because of the repeating the same task over and over and over again. It gets boring very quickly. So I put some music on, which you are allowed to do as long as you listen to them through headphones. And I can wear those headphones literally all day. That's how comfortable they are. And that's what I really want from a gaming headset. To wear them for long periods of time. And my Facebook has just gone off. I'll come back to that in a minute. Now, obviously, the reason why I said those are better than Beats, because that's one of the other things I'm looking for, is the sound quality. And I, when I say sound quality, I mean overall sound quality, whether that's from the speaker drivers and the microphone. Now I don't mind which type of microphone I go for, whether it folds up into the headset or almost retracts into the headset, like I've seen most of them. I don't really want one that's constantly sticking out all the time and it gets, it'll get really annoying after a short period of time. And that, well, basically that's what I really want, just excellent sound quality overall from speaker drivers and the microphone. Simple as that. Excuse me. <laughs> and here's one other thing as well that is also very common with those Logitechs. The durability. Now I don't really want to find... Uh, uh, sorry. While I can see a lot of headsets are getting lighter and lighter, that for me is a bit of a worry. Because what if the durability completely goes from there? So I want a headset that not only is durable, but it also feels heavy, in a way. I know that sounds really weird, but I like heavy, almost heavy headsets, in a way. Because that is quite heavy. And it feels like it's definitely on my head, but it's not making it bad for the comfort again. So really... Uh, well, hang on, where are we going here? So, yeah, not only does it have to be durable, it also has to feel like it's a quality product, that it was actually worth buying that headset. 
I may sound like I'm rambling, and I really do apologise that I am. Now, there are actually three specific requirements as well. Obviously, the first few that I listed there were just the general thought sorts of things. But for the next part, I actually want this headset to be as universal as possible. So that means I can use this headset on multiple devices. And when I say as possible, there are only really three that really concern me. PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One, obviously with the stereo headset adapter. Now, PS3 would actually be a bonus. It would be nice to see if I can get a headset like this, like something not pretty high end, but you know what I mean. Getting a headset as universal as possible, not only to work on the next generation, but also previous generation as well. And as for Xbox 360, well, I'm not too fussed, really. I mean, it'd be nice if it would work on that as well, but it's mainly the next-gen consoles for definite. And now, on the second most crucial point for me as well, I want to get a headset that has all of these things, but also doesn't break the bank, because... I know you're probably going to be sitting there right now with your keyboard prized with your, with, and your keyboard and your fingers prized ready to type in Astro A40. And I'm going to say straight away, no. Big reason why, they're more than £200 over in this country. Yeah, more than that. A lot more than that. So really... The fact that I don't, I don't really want to find that I suddenly spend £200 on a headset and find that it's, well, not any of the above. But really, I'm actually quite happy to spend up to £100. I mean, in the same sense, again, with the UE 6000s, when I bought them, they cost about 90 quid. That's not bad, really. <laughs> Considering that Beats, which are not that great, cost a lot more than that. And there's one, and now moving on, of course, there is one final critical point that I look for in a gaming headset. And what I'm about to say, I am going to get guaranteed a lot of flack for. No Turtle Beach. I can't stress that point enough. And I know you're now going to start really angrily typing, saying, but Total Beach are the best headsets out there. Loads of people have them. And that's my point. Loads of people have them. They are the obvious choice. And to be honest, I don't want obvious. I want unique. That's pretty much it. I've stressed that point as much as I can. And obviously, and in fact, come to think of it, I know what you're also going to be thinking as well. You're also going to be thinking, you utter hypocrite. You recently opened a Turtle Beach headset. Why don't you want them anymore? Well, there's a reason why I got the P4C. Because I knew it was going to be better than the headset that was included with the PS4. In fact, so much so, I threw that old headset away. Not the Turtle Beach, obviously. So, yeah, I know I've probably rambled on as long as I can, and probably too much, as well, as I usually do. But, yeah, that's pretty much summed up my requirements for what I want in a headset. Good sound quality, uh, good durability, and a feel like a quali quality product. The comfort, so it sits right over my ears very nicely indeed. In fact, you can still see the imprint from my headset, or from my headphones there. Look at that. That doesn't look good, does it? And obviously, as multiple formats as possible, but obviously PC, PS4, and Xbox One are the priorities. PS3 is a bonus, 360 not so much. And obviously, I don't want to break the bank. Up to £100 is my maximum for a headset. And of course, no Turtle Beach. Okay? Good. Right, that's pretty much summed up everything I want to say. Sorry this video has gone on so long. This has been Scarrow's Racer, and help me as much as you can, guys. I really need some advice. Thank you very much.